Did you know that 60% of gamers aren't satisfied with the games they play? I bet you didn't, because it's not true. I just felt like lying. I literally have not enjoyed a video game for like a year. Don't believe me? Every game either has an absurd amount of DLCs, which I just don't have the cash money for, and other AAA games, notice the quotation marks, are just straight garbage. Like, what the hell is this? I might sound like I'm rambling, so I took it upon myself to quit. But then I saw the Steam Summer Sale, and uh, I saw this gem. This looks pretty good. I was wrong. It was great. So I spent 17 smackeries on the purchase and I loaded in. So this is my experience with the Risk of Rain 2. So I loaded in as I usually would with a video game and I spent an absurd amount of time just walking around doing jack shit until I started mauling every enemy who decided to cross my path. And this continued on for a while. Like, a while. Watch this. Now you may be wondering what happened for the rest of the game. Well, I'm gonna tell you. So I opened some more boxes, killed some more enemies, and just watch this. Oh, I may die. I may die. What? Yeah, so I died. The boss killed me, so um, yeah, I don't really know what I was expecting. Now this is usually where I'd quit a game, but dude, the loading screens are insane in this game. I click two buttons and I'm in. Like, what? That was absurdly quick. Round two, let's get it. So this round's pretty straightforward. Mold a couple of dudes and, you know, open some boxes. I also turned on the stone thing and guess what? Killed some more dudes. Anyways, wasn't letting this boss get me this time, so I got prepared by just like walking around. And now it's boss time, let's get it. Oh, no, 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 no. I think it's pretty safe to say that I absolutely destroyed these guys. So if you want to gist on how each round goes in this game, you pretty much just spawn in or like land, lose some chests, kill some enemies, and then you eventually just fight a boss. Let's run this. And if you die, you die. And if you win, you go to the next stage and do it all over again. Sounds boring? Wrong. And I'm going to show you why. Now I'm in a new area, keeping this playthrough fresh. New enemies, not new boxes, and a new boss. And that's, uh, that's, that's really about it. But hey, it's cool. So this is round two, stage two. Let's get this. Now you're probably thinking, wow, Brent, that's my name by the way won't this just get boring you're doing the same thing on and on and on and on well uh no like just watch this now there's actually more to this game than you think you might be thinking that you do the same thing multiple times and either win or die well there's actually more so first off there's three different difficulties drizzle rainstorm and monsoon i'm sure you get the idea now i've never actually been in monsoon and i doubt i ever will and there's actually all these different survivors you can play as which will change your gameplay every time i guess some are slow some are fast and some are just absolute shit okay anyways back to the game after i think like six rounds you actually get to fight the final boss called mythrix he's uh the king of nothing i think and if you beat him you win the game congrats now beat him on monsoon i doubt you can and you you can also technically beat the game by obliterating yourself, which is a little interesting, but pretty cool. And I'm 100% certain you can loot the game so you can go until you die, but I actually don't know, just, I don't know how to do it. There's also this place called the Void Fields, which I think are actually really fun. You pretty much just charge this weird thing in this bubble and try not to die, and you do that multiple times. But anyway, out of the bubble, you die. So don't go out of the bubble. And there's also a lot of secrets and cool stuff to the game. So don't be thinking this game is boring or lacks content because trust me, it doesn't. Have you ever seen a third person vampire survivors? I doubt it, and I love that game too. I know this video has literally no direction and I'm kind of just saying a ton of random shit, but I've embraced it and I'm not stopping now. Have I mentioned the music in this game? Like, it's genuinely, like, very good. Like, listen. That's some good shit. No, I didn't buy the soundtrack, and no, I also don't stream it on Spotify, but I can appreciate the sound developer bros that actually made the music actually sound like I'm in a fight. There's also a DLC for this game, which I don't have, but I'm pretty sure it's worth the money. Um, It adds some like characters that you can play and a new joint to run around in. Okay, let's go back to the characters for a bit. Wanna have a pretty regular experience? Just play Commando. Wanna be the type of guy that always plays female ga char char Wanna be the type of guy that always plays female characters in video games? Play Huntress. Wanna lose? Play Mercenary. And Ben, it's pretty cool. Also, play the rest of these characters too. I just don't know what they do. Also, if it's Dude is slow as shit. Let's talk about the multiplayer in this game. Yes, you can play with your friends, which is pretty cool. Multiplayer can either be the best or worst thing ever, depending on what friends you have. Multiplayer is an absolute blast of people that share resources and don't leave you to die 24-7. Multiplayer can literally be hell if you have friends that take everything and leave you with absolutely nothing and you just end up getting demolished every round you play. But multiplayer, overall, is great. I'm literally running out of things to talk about. Mods. Yes, mods. This game has tons of unofficial mods you can play, like for real. You know the game is good when people mod it. You can get new characters to play, like I'm literally playing as Darth Vader right now. Beware of the skin mods because, um... Yeah, there's some quality of life mods too, which just make the game more enjoyable than it already is. And if you're a modder, I'm sure you can mod your own stuff. I'm not a modder, so I don't know. But if other people can do it, I'm sure it's not too hard. Did you know this game used to be 2D? Like, yeah, it was. And now it's 3D. Just thought that was a little cool fact. And they're actually making a remaster of the first game. So check that out if you like Risk of Rain. Yeah. So did I enjoy Risk of Rain? Yes, I did. I actually loved it. And I plan to literally play it right after I finish editing this video. Is Risk of Rain worth your money or your time to legally download it? 100%. If you just can't find joy out of video games anymore, this game is just a a breath of fresh air. Amazing game, amazing team behind it. I hope more games like this get released. It is obvious the developers had a lot of passion for this game and it isn't just a cash grab. Best roguelike ever. So this is my final review. 
Okay, thank you for watching and subscribe. IGN, hi, me as a game reviewer because I think I'm pretty good at this.